This is Derek Wilder with Virtumart Shipping and in this training video we're going to show you how to set default shipping rates. So the first thing we need to do is log into the back end, hover over components, and then select Virtumart. Now over on the left hand side in the menu system select shop and then VM shipping. Now we'll see we already have set up a product H01 with a base shipping rate of $5 and two dollars for additional charges for multiples of the same product. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the configuration row and click edit. So the base ship charge we're going to change to seven dollars. An additional charge for the multiple of the same product we're going to charge for three dollars. Okay here's what this means. This means that for any item that we don't identify on the previous screen with a shipping rate, all those products are going to default to this shipping rate. Also, please note that where it says apply multiple quantity ranges, if this is enabled, this default rate will not work. So it's important to make sure that apply multiple quantity ranges is disabled and then click update. Okay, now you'll notice that we have the product H01, which is a nice saw, again set up with five dollar base shipping charge and two dollars additional charge but now down under default shipping charges we have seven dollars for base shipping charge and three dollars for additional charges again these are going to be applied to any products not a SKU already identified up here so let's go to the front end and see how this works the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click nice saw now we already have this nice saw set up so we're going to click add to cart and show cart. This is set up with a base shipping charge of five dollars. Now we're going to click on hand tools and then click on a hammer. Now we don't have any shipping set up for the hammer so what's going to happen here is it's going to default to the default shipping rates since we don't have any other shipping rate set up for this particular SKU. So click add to cart and then show cart. Now notice the total amount of shipping is twelve dollars five dollars for the nice saw and seven dollars for the hammer. Let's go to the back end very quickly. Five dollars for the nice saw H01 and seven dollars for the base shipping charge for a product that's not identified up here under the SKU base shipping rate list. And that's how you set up default shipping rates.